God in heaven, there's nothing like the nature, the wild mountains, then the sea, the waves crashing, and then the beautiful country with the fields of oats and wheat and all kinds of things, and all the fine cattle going about that. Would do your heart good to see rivers and lakes and flowers and all sorts of shapes and smells and colours springing up out of even the ditches and primroses and violets nature. It is far them saying there's no God. I wouldn't give a snap of my fingers for all their learning. Why don't they go and create something? I often asked them, atheists or whatever they call them. Go and wash the cobbles off themselves first. Then they go howling for the priest and they're dying. And why, why? Because they're afraid of hell on account of their bad conscience. Ah, yes, I know them well. Who was the first person in the universe before there was anybody that made it all? Oh, ah, that they don't know, neither do I. So there you are. They might as well try to stop the sun from rising tomorrow. The sun shines for you, he said, the day we were lying amongst the road at entrance on Howitt's head in the grey tweed shirt with his straw hat, the day I got him to propose to me, yes. First, I gave him a bit of sea cake out of my mouth. It was a leap year like now, yes, yeah, 16 years ago, oh my God. After that long kiss, I near lost my breath. Yes, he said, I was a flower of the mountain. Yes, so your flowers. All a wo woman's body, yes. That was the one true thing he said in my life. That the sun shines for you today. Yes. That's why I liked him. Because I saw he understood. I felt like what a woman is. And I knew I could always get around him. And I gave him all the pleasure I could leading him on till he asked me to say yes. And I wouldn't answer first, when he looked out over the sea and sky. I was thinking of so many things. He didn't know of Mulvey and Mr. Stanhope and Hester and Father and the old Captain Groves and the sailors playing all oh, the birds fly. And I stoop and washing up dishes, they call it in a pair a sentry in front of the governor's house with a thing round his white helmet, poor devil, half roasted, and the Spanish girls laughing with their shawls and their all combs, and the auctions in the morning, the Greeks and the Jews and the Arabs, and the devil knows who else from all the ends of Europe and Duke Street and the foul market, all chuckling outside, Larby Sharon's and the poor donkeys slipping half asleep and the bed fellows and the cloaks asleep in the shade on the steps and the big wheels of the carrots the bow and the old castle thousands of years old, yes and those handsome moors all in white turbans like kings asking you to sit down for their little bit of a shop and Rhonda, with the old windows of the Posada, glancing eyes of lattice, hid for her lover to kiss the iron, and the wine shops half open at night, and the castanets and the night you miss the boat at our Sierras, the watchmen along with the serene with this lamp and all oh, that awful deep down torrent and all oh, and the sea, the sea crimson sometimes like fire and the glorious sunsets and the fig trees and the Almeida gardens and yes, 
and all the queer little streets and pink and blue and yellow houses and the rose gardens and the jessamine and geraniums and cactuses in Gibraltar as a girl where I was a flower of the mountains. Yes, when I put the rose in my hair like the Andalusian girls used, or shall I wear a red, yes, and how he kissed me under the Moorish wall. And I thought, well, as well him or another. And then I asked him with my eyes to ask again, yes. And then he asked me, would I say yes, to say yes, my mountain flower. And first I put my arms around him, yes, and I drew him down to me so that I could feel my breasts, all the perfume, and his heart was going like mad. And yes, I said, I will. Yes. 